So four practices in, are you uh, are you having fun with all your new toys? I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> and it's the effort and attitude that these guys give that's the most fun. I mean, the energy level on the practice field is fantastic, and that's what I'm looking for. We can we can fix the little things, but when the effort, energy, and passion's there, man, that's fun. When, when you took this job, you knew you were walking into a good defense. Has it been as advertised, getting out here and seeing them not let anybody get open? <laughs> <laughs> There's some pretty good players on offense. There's some guys finding some space. They're, they're, that's that's happening a little bit, but you know, it is. I mean, it's like you said, it's ad, ad, as advertised. What I was probably most impressed with walking in, in the door was the football IQ. You know, you can turn on the film and recognize the fact that guys play hard, but there's some football intelligence and there's some veterans holding younger guys accountable, and that's really good to see. Do you know you got guys like MyJ and, and Ahmad when you come in? What about the depth? Because it seems like you got four stars on, on second team and, and you got guys on third team who look like there's going to be really good players. Were you expecting that level? You know what? Um, I did look down the roster, obviously, before I took the job here, and I was excited about the future. There's no doubt about it. But one of our main objectives in spring ball was 22 starters, find 22 starters, because you're going to need them all. And then also the challenge we've given the guys just recently is, hey, there's some times on the field where Maje going sideline to sideline is like, wow. There's some clips on the field where Maj running with the deep ball or all the way across the field when it's not even his job is like, wow, okay. When we hold those two guys out for a while, because they don't need eight trillion reps, who are going to be the wow guys with the next group? So we're trying to make sure that um, it's not Maje or, or DeBlanco's effort, or it's not those guys, it's everybody. So that's the challenge. How much does it help stepping in, having guys like Kobe and, and Joel, who have been around for a long time, and uh, hey, that, be that, coaches on the field, I guess? It's always huge, because a player-led team is always better than a coach-led team. We're looking for a player-led team. When players hold each other accountable and teach them the way we do it here in the Black Cat defense from day one, and certainly, not only does it make the coach's job easier, but the results are better. Your eyes kind of get big when you see a, a true freshman here for spring practice that enrolled early start to see on the field in the second team and show a little bit. Guys like Armorian Smith and Malik Rainey and, and Brian Threats. Yeah. Tell me about those guys and the excitement you have for them. No, it, they're learning it. They're learning it pretty quickly, which is really good to see. And a lot of that's because the veterans aren't feeling threatened by how good they are. They're helping them, you know, so that's really good to see. But there is some football sense, some football awareness from those guys, which I think in 2021, that's the hardest thing to find. And you can find some pretty bodies. You can find some length. You can find some speed. But guys with the football instincts and, and um, the willingness and, and really embracing of the grind where you're going 365 days for 12 for 12 contests you know but i love seeing the old guys coach those young guys we've seen cook and, and hicks out here quite a bit how important has it been to start developing some of that depth at safety uh with those young guys with um uh dra and DRA, yeah. yeah um yeah that's important i mean that's the whole thing right now the the older guys have to continue to improve, or else why are we back again? Why are we back again if we're not going to continue to get better? And if you get lazy in the fundamentals, things start going the wrong direction. So those old guys need to continue to get better too. And we've been trying to find creative ways to do that. But yes, clearly you know you're going to need more than just two safeties over the course of a season. So it's a combination of both of those things happening right now. One of the things Vic talked about why he felt you were such a good fit for this is you could, you know, Obviously had a really good defense, but bring someone in who has fresh eyes, who can yeah. maybe add something and enhance it. What do you feel like you can do to, to enhance that, or what do you bring in from the outside that's going to help this? You know, Fig and I come from pretty similar background in some respects, but the last dozen years or whatever, we've been game planning completely separately, and we've both had uh, different coaches around us on a year in, year out basis. Year in, year out basis. So we've looked at things a little bit different in the game planning room in terms of the scheme. Even if you're running uh, similar coverage, for example, there might be some different coaching points or some different things that we can recognize and hit on. So even coming from a similar background, it's, it's been 12 years apart learning from different people. So bringing that together, we hope it's going to be real good. Part of that depth, especially like on the defensive line, you know, all, all the talk about the transfer portal is you got to keep guys happy. How do you keep such a deep group, a, a deep defense happy when maybe guys aren't getting first team reps or the amount of reps that, you know, they feel like they deserve? Well, first, treat them right. Yeah. I mean, treat people right and make sure 
we understand the love and respect for each other's first. Um, on the defensive line, I feel like you need to be able to roll a lot of guys. I mean, it is an absolute battle out here. Coach Fick puts drills out there that are just pure manhood drills, which is the way D-line and O-line is. So you need to roll bodies there. But uh, when you go in the rooms and recognize uh, that everybody's in it together and for each other and how they're coaching each other up, you feel pretty good about it. But it starts with treating people right. Jawan Briggs, uh, he's bounced around to a couple of the different spots. Are you identifying where he's the best fit here, you know, how he fits yeah. in exactly. So obviously he's a big, strong dude. You can see that. When, yeah. he, gets, when he gets his hands <laughs> on you, that's problems. But we always want to play to everybody's strengths. So that's what we're trying to do is figure out where we can play to his strengths the most often. He doesn't look like a rush end <laughs> physically, but he's played some rush ends here so far this week. And, and again, when you pass rush, whether you're an edge guy or an inside guy, you have to figure out what your strengths are. Don't pretend you're a speed rush dude when you're a power rush dude. And what's your primary move? What's your counter? is not going to be the same as Maje's. So you're going to have some different body types in different spots as long as they understand that pass rush is a unit working together and you need to play to your strengths. You're going to hate this question, but we've seen a lot of the 3 3 five. Is that something you think is, is going to stay that way? Is that just because of the continuity from last season? Have you started mixing things up at all yet? Really, if you watch, you see probably a fair amount of four down and that, I guess what you're calling the 3-3-5. Three, three, but uh, when you have a really veteran defense, you need to do what they do. You, know, you need to do what they do best. Why would we want to start from scratch? with the Maje Sanders, with Cody Bryant, with Mod, with it, with any of those guys. So we're gonna bring in some changes, um, but we're still gonna play the guys' strengths uh, and, and their knowledge base. We, we know Fick is a defensive guy. Have you had to like nudge him out of the, the room at all? Oh, or? hell no, I'm not nudging him out of the room. <laughs> no, he wants to be in the room, great, man. The more, uh, the more great coaches we can have, the better. So I love it when he's in here. So, I mean, Actually, it's probably the opposite. We're starting to watch film. It's like, Coach, start. Come on, right. come on, join the party. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Hey, Coach.